Hey, you guys. Wow, it's echoey in here. I'm in my bedroom. And uh, this week is week seven. It's been seven weeks since the fire. And it's been a whirlwind of activity here. We've had pretty much every day we've had roofers, AC people, electricians, framers, sheet rockers, painters. <laughs> and so, so much has been happening. It's really wild what one little fire can do to your house. It do so much damage. So, um, I think we might be turning a corner, at least a little bit. I was just gonna show you. So this is my bedroom. They did not take the sheetrock off the walls in here. They did, it, this little room was totally destroyed, this little extra room. So it's been totally redone. This used to be our nursery. So you can see it's a long, narrow room. When we built this on, I just made sure it was just wide enough to put a twin bed in, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change some stuff around in there. So I'm kind of excited about that. I have a lot of things as they were taking them out of our house and we were talking about what to do with them. I was like, you know, that's just not serving me anymore, that piece of furniture or that thing. So I'm just, after seven weeks of living with one small suitcase of stuff, I'm like, you know, I don't think I need a whole house full of stuff. So we're going to be getting rid of a lot. And I am like beyond excited about that. In my bedroom, there is this little thing here, which I may have showed you on week three or four. Um, we refigured the stairway that goes up to the loft where the, um, where the fire was, and that meant cutting a little bit into my bedroom. I have some ideas about, I'm sorry, it's hot in here. I have some ideas about how to deal with that, which I will show you later. I'm working out some stuff, doing sketches, and looking around on Pinterest and that kind of thing. So I got some stuff up my sleeve, but I think in the end when I'm finished, you won't see that at all. So that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, you say to yourself, should I put the furniture back where it was? Because now's the time to rearrange. And then we are going down toward the hall. Here's the new stairs. These guys have been working and painting, I mean, not painting, um, doing the mud spackling today. So, yeah, lots and lots of spackling been done today. And then in the other part of the, and then the roofers were here all week. I can't tell if they're done. I think maybe they're done. I haven't really looked out there. In here, in this hallway, we have a new opening for, we've never even seen up in that attic, but the new AC unit has gone in up there because this house is almost 100 years old and this part of the house, not where the fire was, the new, the old part, and it's, um, <laughs> where they had put the air conditioning unit was pretty strange and so, um, it has gotten moved now, and so I'm at some point going to look up there. I'm going to try to figure out something more attractive than this. So this isn't just hitting us in the face all the time. Because I don't imagine we'll ever go up there unless we're fixing the AC. The room that we had just finished redoing has now been painted again. And um, I think all out in the old part, except for the kitchen, utility room, and one bedroom are painted, and I love the colors. Uh, I think I told you last week, I spent a lot of time picking out these colors, and I really like them. My chalkboard wall is gone, my scripture wall is gone, but I'm not sad about that. I did those myself, so I can do them again. So now, where the chalkboard wall was, it's just all the same color. It's, it looks a little bit greener in the video than it looks um, in real life. So it's a really, really pretty gray. I really, really love it. Super happy about it. So the next room is the same color. So that's what's been going on here. Um, to be honest, I feel like some of the confusion about what's happening and who's in charge may never go away. We'll be at the end of this project and just be like, did we ever figure out who was in charge of this or that? I'm not sure who's making decisions. Occasionally I'll just wander over here as we're living across the street and I'll catch one of the guys working and I'll be like, so what's happening there? One of the things they did this week was they painted a stone pillar that was in one of my son's rooms that was natural stone and they painted it. <laughs> and I'm just like, why did you do that? These are the reasons why I don't hire people to do things because now this beautiful stone pillar, which was original to the house and I loved, is painted over. And I'm not saying it looks horrible painted white. 
It's just that I didn't want it painted white. I wanted it to be the natural stone. So I had a little meltdown about that, and then I got over it. So my meltdowns will last somewhere in the range of three to 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I just got over it and said my little fuss to the guys. I told them don't paint any more stone. We have lots of other stone in the house. And I just, I got over it. I mean, what are you gonna do? You can't get the paint off of raw stone. So <laughs> there you go. Um, so yeah, I think what I'm feeling this week is, besides a little bit of confusion, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired, um, emotionally tired of not having a house to live in. I go to visit a friend and I'm like, oh, you have a house. Like, I don't realize how much I really, really miss that. Um, I'm tired of having workmen around all the time. I really, I'm super glad that I have a couple of days here <laughs> before that kicks in again. Um, there's cigarette butts everywhere. There's loud music all the time. There's cursing and things. And I'm just like, Mm, this is just not my home. I need the peacefulness of my home back. So, um, you know, it's not that they're horrible. It's just that I'm ready. There's trash literally everywhere. And there's really no point in me going around cleaning all of it up because it'll just be back next week. So we'll do it in the end. But for now, I'm just having to live with that stuff. And, um, yeah, so I would say I'm tired of it. But I think this weekend will give me a second wind. Um just having a couple of days of downtime. And so we have very little plan tomorrow. I think we're just gonna kind of relax. Uh, one of our adult kids is coming home to visit. None of our adult kids have been here. They all have busy lives. And so one of them's coming home. We're all really excited to have that little sort of breath of fresh air breathed in as we've gotten where we're all sort of sick of it. And so this will be nice. And um, I would say uh, mostly I try to focus on the good. I try to look for what is positive, when, especially when I have my little meltdown. I'm like, okay, the guy's painted the rock. I can't undo it, um, so let's move on. Let's just be like, well, there'll be this new original thing, and um, I just have the opportunity to decorate around it and make lemonade out of lemons, and so I'm gonna do that. In the meantime, I'm doing a lot of shopping, trying to pick out our beds, trying to pick out some of our furniture, trying to pick out things that so that as soon as we can, we can just go to the places where I haven't picked out and buy them so that I don't have to be without furniture <laughs> once we get the house back. So it's a lot of stuff like that, but overall, um, it's really kind of being a minimalist with nothing, no very few possessions, um, and no home of your own is has its sweet things, has sweet things about it. Like we, um, we don't have a lot of work to do as far as taking care of our stuff. And we don't have um, uh, a lot of, I don't know, um, I guess just heavy, heavy responsibilities and things on our mind. And there are things on our mind, but they're not are the usual things. So there's kind of a break from, oh, this needs fixing and that needs taken care of. So there's, um, the kids are having, fun believe it or not there's fun things about it for them we do a lot of puzzles together we do a lot of sitting down and talking we take walks we're a little less busy than we um normally are in our normal life so that's kind of sweet and so something good to look for and um so i just feel like god gives you these tiny little rays of light in what could be a dark thing and so um I'm choosing to see those things and find the things to be thankful for. And every day we wake up and we like, let's each find five things today to be thankful for or three things to do today to be thankful for. And the kids will just be like, this is going to be mine. You know, we got to go run into town and someone egged my car at the other lady's house. And so we ran into town and we washed the car and then we got drinks at Sonic. We were like, my son's like, I'm going to be thankful for this. I'm like, huh, well, I wouldn't have done that if... <laughs> Um, you know, we hadn't had a struggle. So there's always something good, y'all. There's just always something good. And I just really want to push that message onto you because I want you, as you go through your struggle, to know that there's always something good. So here we are, week seven, getting hot. We have only uh, winter clothes, so we're going to have to face that problem in the next week or so. But another opportunity to see what God wants to do. Love you guys. Be sure and uh, check out all my updates on my blog, thepenningtonpoint.com. See you later.